Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another great arcade game video for you this evening. Today we have something really special. This is 1990's Dragon's Lair 2 by Leland Games. This was, of course, the famous sequel to Dragon's Lair, um, which was originally a Cinematronics game. I think Cinematronics renamed their company Leland. I don't, or sold it or whatever. I don't understand all of that, but. Uh, this is Sullivan Bluth's Dragon's Lair 2. This was, uh, I think Don Bluth was the guy that um, did all the animation, but this was a very famous Laserdisc game. The first one, I believe, came out in 83. Might be wrong with that, but I think it was 83. And then this was uh, the long-awaited sequel several years later. Uh, we got this in... Uh, if you guys saw that video that we had of the uh, the lot of games that we got from Knoxville, we got this in from there. Um, and we've been working on it a little bit and finally got it up and running and doing its thing. And it does not disappoint. I think it's a really fun game. Some people don't uh, don't like the Laserdisc games, but I think they're cool. It, it's, a, uh, it's a dated technology now, but at the time it was very interesting because uh, it gave them the ability to do full animation like this or to do uh, a full video in some of the games like Mach 3 and, and things like that but this is a dedicated Dragon's Lair 2 uh, the way that it came from the factory now this one's not in mint condition or anything but it's pretty nice so we'll show a, a little video overview of it so you can remember what it was like if you played it back in the day or if you've never seen it uh, show you just how special it is um, this has all the original artwork on it the control panel with Dirk the Daring and uh, he's fighting off the uh, flames from a dragon, obviously. You notice you've got two sword buttons there. Of course, those are original. And you've got the uh, the two start buttons. Very simple game. And it just says, move Dirk towards yellow flashes, push button when sword flashes. There's the original joystick. You can notice that they only uh, delineate four directions. No matter what comes on the screen, you only have to go four directions. You don't have to do any of the diagonal moves even though it does have an eight-way joystick in it but you just uh, all you have to do is uh, left right up or down check out the side art it's not in perfect shape it's got some scratches on it but all in all looks very good since it's original we'll start up here at the top so there's this cool castle here the artwork on these was fantastic Mr. Booth must have been fairly good at drawing. <laughs> I assume he did the side art. I know, uh, I, well, I don't know for sure, but I heard he, he was the one that did the animation. You can see that there's some of the scratching on the side. This is the worst side. The other side's a little better. Usually the scratches like that get to where uh, they had them in an arcade sitting next to another game, or whenever they stored it, they pushed it next to another game uh, to transport it or whatever. the evil warlock or wizard Sullivan Bluth's Dragon's Lair 2 Leland Corporation Very cool art. Very well done. I like how expressive the faces are. <laughs> then we'll look at the other side. The other side is just a mirror image of the, that side, but this side it's in a little better shape. It's held up a little better over the years. And it had a little bit of damage to the cabinet where this corner has been reattached and then uh, had the, the line there on the wood touched up. Looks very presentable though. Not bad. So all in all, the cabinet's in pretty nice shape. It has the original K7000 monitor in it, 25 inch, nice large monitor. That's not a television, that's the original arcade monitor that came with it. Uh, and it's got the original marquee artwork which is the big light box type artwork where you've got uh, more great art. It's 
Such a cool game. So if you're not familiar with these, basically the way the way the way they work, the original Dragon's Lair and this one, is uh, instead of having a just a game board in it where it played. Uh, uh, trying to get it where the glare is not on. It. Instead of having just a game board in it where it just played, uh, uh, you know, computer generated graphics uh, that that were uh, drawn out. So 1990, it would have been something like this Golden Axe here. It actually had a laser disc player in it, down on the bottom of it, and this has the original laser disc player in it, which is a Sony LDP 1450, and uh, it would it would play a laser disc, which basically had just a collection of uh, scenes that had been animated by Mr. Bluth, and uh, so you would play through, and it would play. Uh, one scene and then depending on what you did with the joystick it would play another scene so the scene might flash on the left the window might flash well if you hit left on the joystick your character would jump over to there so this says uh, move Dirk towards the yellow flash well it went too fast for me so your character if you hit left would move over to the window and that would be the next scene of animation and if you did it at just the right time which had to be very quick uh, you would move on to the next animated frame and in that frame it might your sword might flash so if you hit the sword button just in time immediately it would go to the next frame which is him swinging his sword and and, and escaping or whatever and uh, if you missed like if you didn't hit that sword button it would it would go to this scene where he met his untimely demise and uh, the whole game's like that so every scene uh, there would be a yellow flash and you would have to hit either that direction or the sword button to move to the next proper frame. If you didn't do it, you would die over and over and over again, which meant that you could actually memorize the sequence on how to go through it um, if you were good. But later on in the game, at least in this version, I'm not sure about in Dragon's Lair, in Dragon's Lair 2, uh, it get, you get to parts where it starts reversing the the, the image. So if the if usually the window or whatever's over here on the left, it might play it backwards where now the window's on the right. So uh, they mess with you a little bit with that. But all in all, it's a really fun game. has excellent sound, has excellent artwork. Uh, it's just fantastic. Now one little thing I want to mention. If you look really close, these laser discs, they would get wear on them. So basically they called it like a uh, disc rot. There's, there's certain parts of the disc will get a little bit of damage to it where it, uh, the, the silver coating or something that's in it uh, starts separating or something like that. So over the years you would get some of the some of the scenes would have little lines in them. Like if you look, this one's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. And that one looks really good. But if you keep watching on some of the scenes you'll see some lines. Like see that line there between the number two and the number three now? That's just a, it's the laser disc has deteriorated slightly. It's kind of like an old VHS tape. So uh, it gives them a little bit of character. If you get one that's really, really bad, it'll get to the point where you don't even like playing it because it's so annoying. But it's not on all the scenes. If you notice, you'll see it on some of these scenes, and then it'll move to another scene, and it'll be completely gone. So for instance, it's there, but now it's not. So it's just a neat little idiosyncrasy of the Laserdisc players. Um, if you got a brand new disc or a new old stock disc, uh, you may be able to get one where it has absolutely no damage to it and it looks perfectly crystal clear on every scene. Uh, but this one's not like that. This is the original disc. Also worth noting is that the uh, uh, it's usually only on some of the, the some of the first scenes of the game. So once you get into it a little bit, you don't have any of that. But it's on this scene that it shows over and over and over again, and it's on the little attract scene on a few of those cells too. Uh, it's, it's hard to get around that. Another thing interesting about this particular game is the original Dragon's Lair had a scoreboard up here that showed scores and things because the problem was that the laser disc would just show video. So uh, and it could the game board that's in it could make sounds and things like that if it wanted to like that beep you just heard. Um, but uh, to actually get text on the screen was very hard to do. This particular laser disc had that ability, though. This laser disc player, the LDP fourteen fifty, not the uh, I don't well, I can't remember any of the other numbers, but not the one before it and not the one after it. But that if you get the exact right laser disc player, it had the ability for the PCB board to tell it to display text on the screen. So it would say insert coins. If you put a quarter in, it changes to say one credit. 
et cetera, et cetera. And it would also let you change the high score uh, initials that it displays on the screen. So if that's that text right there is being overlaid on the image on the Laserdisc by the Laserdisc player. This is the only player that really does that. So uh, if you have the wrong Laserdisc player in the machine, you lose all of that. It doesn't have the text at the bottom and it doesn't have the high score table, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you kind of it doesn't have where it says insert coins there. So you kind of have to have the actual correct Laserdisc player. You can't just put any of them in there. But we do. This is the original Laserdisc player, original Laserdisc, original cabinet dedicated all the way. What a great game. So I will set up the tripod and I'll turn it on. Uh, it plays the attract uh, music the very first time that you turn it on. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll set up the tripod and then I'll turn it on and you can see what it does and how it sounds as it boots up. And then you can watch that awesome uh, uh, intro to it uh, with the sound and then we'll play it a little bit. Now I'm not super good at this, but we'll play a little bit just so you can see it. Also, I don't want to just film the entire game or anything and put it on YouTube. I'm sure other people have done that because they've they've re-released this over the years for some of the home systems. But uh, this gentleman, I think, is still involved with the game and uh, licenses, you know, owns the license. So I don't want to just uh, show a video showing all of his uh, awesome animation over and over and over again. But uh, we'll uh, we'll set up the tripod. Be right back. pretty fantastic as you can see you can see that little line pops up in a few of the screens it'll be on one and it won't be on the next and then as you get farther into it you don't see it so it's just a little little nuisance but uh we'll play through it a little bit such a cool game Whew. i just like how that's it's epic epic that's the best word for it so we'll put a quarter in it or actually 50 cents everybody knows dragon's lair was 50 cents All right. So like we were saying, it's the laser disc is showing this picture, but then as you add credits, the laser disc player is changing the number like the text that's on here. That's obviously not on the Laserdisc. It's overlaying it. Um, and this was, I th there may have been one other player. There was one or two players that, that were able to do that. And then uh, on the original ones, you didn't need that because it had a separate, um, like a scoreboard or uh, on the back of the, of the cabinet. But by doing uh, it this way with this kind of player, they were able to make it where they didn't need that extra board. They were able to actually show you the high scores on the actual screen. So we'll try it. So basically, the uh, all you're doing is you're looking for the yellow flash and then moving that direction. Or if your sword flashes yellow, you're hitting the sword button. Let's go through it. Get all the treasures to advance to the final level. There's a little treasure on each board. Oh, I missed. Ah. Kidnapped. Left. 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 Sword. Sword. 
down, right. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Didn't go good. Oh, the sword. Ah. Luckily, you get to continue. No, again. So tough. <laughs> Almost had it. Uh-oh. What did I miss? You must be Dirk. You must be Dirk. Dirk Ah! Oh. Man, it's eating my money, people! You must be Dirk. Dark at the daring. You must be dark. Dark the daring. Fetch me the big pen on the well. That is lost to the hole. Oh. You must be dark. Dark the daring. Fetch me the big pen on the well. That is lost to the hole of time. A prisoner she. Oh, horrible. You must be dirt. Dirt is heavy. Fetch me a big tin on the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner she under a spell. Hasten, <clears throat> lad, hurry. We'll get her back. This is the foul wizard. My brother. <laughs> God. It's evil tough. If you hit the wrong way, you don't have enough time to hit the right way. You must be dirt, dirt to heavy. Fetch me a big tin on the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner she under a spell. Hasten, <clears throat> lad, hurry, we'll get her back. It be the foul wizard. My brother, in that. Amazing. You must be dirt. Dirt to heavy. Fetch me. Mmm. Tough, tough, tough. Thief. 
You must be dirty, dirty, dirty. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in a hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. Hasten, <coughs> lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It be the foul wizard. My brother, in black. Hmm. I think I gotta go down. Sometimes it's a little confusing. You must be dirt, dirt, heavy. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in a hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. Hasten, <coughs> lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It be the foul wizard. My brother, in black. Too tough, folks. You must be dirt, dirt, heavy. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. Hasten, <coughs> lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It's me, the foul wizard. My brother in black. Oh, oh, I got past the one part, but I was supposed to use the sword. <laughs> You must be dirt, dirt, heavy. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. Hasten, <coughs> lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It's me, the foul wizard. My brother, in black. Man! You must be dirt, dirt, heavy. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. <laughs> Hasten, lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It's me, the foul wizard. My brother, in black. <laughs> Almost at it! Come on, I better be farther apart. Nope. You must be dirt, dirt, heavy. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. Hasten, <coughs> lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It's me, the foul wizard. My brother, in black. Man, you got the, like, it's like a diagonal thing. All right, we're going to try it one last time, folks. No use to just abuse myself. You must be dirt, dirt, heavy. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. <coughs> Hasten, lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It's me, the Sword. Sword. Man. You must be dirt. Last life, folks. Last life. You must be dirt, dirt, heavy. Fetch me a drink and not the well. That is lost in the hall of time. A prisoner, she under a spell. Hasten, lad, hurry. We'll get her back. It's me, the foul wizard. My brother, in black. Ah, man, that one I can't ever figure out. I don't think you're supposed to go left. I think you're supposed to go down. But there you go, folks. That is the famous Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp sequel to Dragon's Lair. Now, by the time you see this uh, this video, Dirk the Daring may have uh, uh, rolled on out the door to someone else's house. But check out our website, lionsarcade.com. We've got stuff like this all the time. Maybe not quite this cool, but we do have a lot of games in. Um, if, uh, if you're local, come by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, and that's about 15 minutes below Charlotte, North Carolina. I, I failed to save Daphne. Mm, they even had to rub it in. Dragon's Horrible. Lair. We're in downtown Rock Hill. Kidnapped? Oh, Daddy! Idiot! <laughs> Spirited away to a wrinkle in time by the evil wizard Mordrock. Daphne will be forced to marry the wicked Mordrock. Oh, no. Can save her. Oh, no. Daphne. I tried. Daphne's Transported by a bumbling old tiger. I tried, Daphne. Begins the rescue mission. Do it for the children. 
I tried. The, casket of doom has opened. the sad thing too, I checked the difficulty and it's on the easiest difficulty level. Mm. She will be lost forever. In the time warp. All right. So uh, if you uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to us here on YouTube, and uh, every time we get a video like this, it will let you know we put up usually a couple a week. So uh, we will see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed this great game.